celebrating 500 videos and more. This is the Me and Larry reality video show, LTL Editorial News for December 3rd, 2009. Headline, we already know that through the speech at West Point that President Barack Obama this, uh, made the decision on sending 30,000 troops up to next summer to Afghanistan. We know that. Now we know that this is his ball game, Obama's ball game. Now I've been keeping up with it on Al Jazeera uh, News. BBC had a little something, CNN of course, but also Stars and Stripes uh, newspaper. Uh, already they explained about going in there and then the exit plan of uh, leaving July of uh, 2011. Now everything is on the table. Let's say if Obama was playing poker with his uh, cabinet members and with uh, President Hamid Kazari and his uh, staff, let's say the cards are on the table, all the cards on the table. You know, in the Texas Hold'em, uh, you know, you got the dealer, which is war itself. And what's happening is, of course, people will know the consequences of war. The positive, yes, you getting the job done, which it should have been done in 2001. And I will explain that in the next video segment. Number two, uh, going after Osama bin Laden, that's uh, taking care of the business that should have been taken care of. Number three, now you know the cost of the war, I already explained that earlier, that each soldier is a million dollars. So a million dollars, now times 30,000 troops, it's gonna be 30 billion. Who's gonna pay for it? Congress said they paying for it, but how are they gonna get the money? Of course, through the taxpayers. We know that. Uh, number four, we already knew that uh, the Taliban and uh, Al Qaeda group, who is still supportive of uh, Osama bin Laden and the founder of it, Yousef uh, Salim, uh, they still go to be around the um, extremists, the terrorist groups, and. Number five, will Pakistan support it? Now, the Pakistan um, army and government is so corrupt, you can't trust them. And then, going back to number four, who's going to supply the Taliban and Al-Qaeda? Of course, uh, Osama bin Laden was the financial advisor to the Al-Qaeda group. They don't, with, uh, let's say if he was out of the way, who's supplying him the money? Even if he was there, he, he can't go to a bank. I already explained that. So you got all these elements, and they thinking that it's going to be that fast and easy and then get out of there. You never know because here's the uh, other key elements. The key elements is when they was training, they wasn't training in Saudi. Saudi wouldn't allow it. And plus they are uh, United States allies. They wouldn't allow uh, Bin Laden to have a training facility there. Afghanistan was a training facility. Because if they are against Western policy, they got to have a training facility to do this. They just needed the financial backup. They had the founder, and they 
uh, together, they was able to sp spread uh, the thing of terrorism all throughout, indirectly. So everybody can pick up who's uh, so devoted in their ideals or idealism. And so the key thing is now they already did what they supposed to have done with when they trained in Afghanistan. They was able to take out the Twin Towers. They wanted to take out the wealth of it. And then to take out the policy, the Western uh, policy of doing things. Now they want to get all Western and coronation group in, in craters and valleys so they can surround them and set them up in their backyard. And when you are in their backyard, they know guerrilla warfare. So that means you have to have special technology, you have to have the drones, you have to have the military to, to do on foot, know every strategy, every plan out there. It's not going to be easy. And the last thing, to try to get um, the army who you, of Afghanistan, the Afghan soldiers, hopefully you can trust them. You, you, you know what happened up in Iraq. You couldn't trust most of the guys. Now with Afghan soldiers, are they? can you trust them when you train them? And so they're not equipped in doing things. And how would they get weapons? So all that is on the table. You think they're going to have it done by 2011? I know Obama may be smart, but here's the other key thing. He's not experienced, and it's going to take a while to get adjusted in, the, um, in that warfare. So there you have it. And I'll be back with the other segment I'm going to talk about. Dinner with uh, Afghanistan should have been taken care of first. On the LTL Editorial News.